Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I want to get right into this because I have a lot of things to share with you. Um, this is coming from Genesis chapter 6. And it says, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. Okay, there's some people who don't believe that these were angels. But see in verse 1 and verse 2, there's a clear distinction between the two. I'll read verse 1 again. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, okay, that the sons of God, which is different <laughs> from the men that were human men that were uh, described in verse 1, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, okay, again, a clear distinction, that they were fair, that means they were beautiful, and they took them wives of all that they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be at a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Okay? And God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And this is Genesis chapter 6, and I just read you 1 through 5. Guys, I want to talk to you all about demonic sex. <laughs> There is such a thing as demonic sex. There's a lot of you, your mind is blown and shot over this man or this woman that can take you to the moon and back. And this stuff is being done outside of marriage. This type of sex is a sex that causes you to disobey God. This is a sex that causes you to defile your body, which is the temple of a living God. This is a type of sex that causes you to continue to betray your spouse over and over again. This is a type of sex that causes you to want to try things that you never tried before to do things that's considered unnatural in the sight of God. This is a type of sex that causes a woman to walk out on her husband and leave her children behind. This is a type of sex that causes a husband to walk out on his wife and his family for this woman. This is the type of sex that causes a man, a married couple to say they want to invite another married couple into their beds or a single person that wants to do swingers type of things, be swingers. That's what it is. This is the type of sex that causes a brother to begin to look at his sister, sister to look at the brother, the son to go against, to want to sleep with the mother, the mother, the son, the father, the daughter's incest, the filthiness. This is a sex that causes people to want to marry and sleep with their dog and animals. But to keep it closer to home, this is the sex that causes a lot of people to be sexually immoral and, in, and, and have sexual infidelity in their relationships. Masturbation is not exempt from this. But the truth of the matter is that type of mind-blowing sex that you're having outside of your marriage, outside of the institution of marriage, it's demonic. And that's why sometimes you're with that man and with that woman and it seems like, oh, they know exactly what I need. I don't even have to say it. They know how to hit those spots. They know how to cause you to have a, a, a climax several different times. They know how to do this and that. I'm going to keep things very, <laughs> you know, clean because sometimes kids might accidentally get in on these videos. But, you know, because that woman knows how to perform good Fellatio, which is a clean word for oral sex on the man. You know, this woman knows how to do this until you climax. And then she 
finishes you off with some great mind-boggling sex and this man knows how to perform cunnilingus on you which is a fancy word for the same thing as oral sex on you as a woman and he knows how to make you black out and come to with so much good sex and climax and he knows how to do this to you and then it causes you to climax three or four more times when you're doing these things my brothers and sisters especially when you're doing stuff outside of marriage it is demonic it's demonic that's why it causes you to lose it and now you you there looking out the window wondering when they're coming back over again These angels that are described in Genesis chapter 6, sons of men, they went in unto these women. And you have to understand that the men and women of those times were different. You know, they were still made, they were closely made to the image of Adam and Eve. They were like the, the original copy of Christ, where these angels will see them and they will see these angels the sons of men they walked in a different time and so they would literally see them just as how I'm looking over at that wall and they were able to come together because they were like they were the patent and the most authentic version of God they were coming from the lineage of Adam and Eve having those same spiritual abilities as you notice in verse in chapter in Genesis 6 when God destroys the earth, he says at that point that man will not live, the, the max that man would live is to 120 years old. This is possible. <laughs> we see people that's 112, 113 right now. But before that, before the Lord made that declaration, men were living up to be like 700, 900 years old at 600 just having kids then living another 200 years so when you read it you realize they were of they were not of the human today who we are now is what came after the flood where we're frail we don't have that same type of of uh, spiritual connection as we did before as with adam and eve but what so what happens now is these angels and demons are unseen and what they simply do is they manifest in a person you see that that demonic entity will enter through a person remember the word of god says that our battle is not against against flesh and blood but it's against principalities and powers those battles my brothers and sisters is not just fighting battles but the battles of your flesh sexual battles infidelity things of that nature masturbation anything you struggle with is that battle and you have to realize that when you're struggling with masturbation being faithful being loyal um fornication it's a battle that's not against yourself and your desires but it's against a principality that urges you to do this right so what you find out is that as we walk in disobedience and we don't do what the lord tells us to do what's going to happen is when we are saved this is when when the Lord gives a parable about the house that's swept and garnished you are saved you give your life to the Lord but you're not filled with his word so what happens with you don't get filled with his word you're not praying you pray gingerly not so much so what happens is that spirit when it's cast out it goes around in dry places seeking refuge seeking a new place well it says well let me go back to so and so well it comes back to you and see well god did deliver you but guess what you are you are it, it, you look good on the outside but you're still empty on the inside because you are not filling yourself with the word of god prayer you are not connecting and keeping a connection with the spirit of god so the spirit enters you and your state he comes inside of you he also brings seven he or she whatever the spirit is brings seven other spirits more wicked than itself and you find yourself worse than you were before well these things happen these things manifest in the people that you become attracted to that you end up in connections with that you sometimes end up marrying in some cases and what happens is the same spirits are operating in them so you have this mind-blowing sex it is a demonic sex it's a sex that does not come from god and i'm trying to tell you i'm not going to go too far into this but some of the sexual acts that people are doing 
some of the sexual positions that people are doing it is unnatural and it was not meant to be for example i'm just going to say this it was never meant for the seed of a man to be spilled onto a surface or the floor you will see back in the old testament that the lord killed someone because that person because he didn't want to I can't remember the whole story, but basically he didn't want to give his seed onto this woman. And what he did, he pulled out and he spilled his seed on the ground and he was killed for that. Okay. The, your semen is life. So it's not meant to be all over the place. Okay. It, it, so pull out is not what the Lord intended because you should <laughs> be in a situation where you're supposed to, you're having to pull out. Second, my brothers and sisters, you should not be in a semen does not belong in your mouth okay semen does not belong on your face and i'm gonna leave that these acts my brothers and sisters are some of the ways that demonic activities take place some things certain areas of the body was not meant for sexual entrance some positions my brothers and sisters are actually demonic entrances i mean demonic positions I don't want to get too far off in that, but certain positions, I'm going to give you one. It seems to be an all-time favorite, doggy style. You are on your hands and knees as a human being, but you are in a position of an animal, and the person is entering you from a certain position. My brothers and sisters, as fun and as cool as it seems like it is, and I tell you, just pray about it. You are told you are imitating the act of bestiality. That's what it is. Because you're on your hands and knees. A lot of times, my brothers and sisters, these things that we thought was cool and it's okay, it wasn't because that was not what God intended. But the enemy and the sons of these, the, well, now they are demons, okay? They've moved from being the sons of God. And these were probably the sons of God. These were probably the ones that got expelled from heaven onto earth when the, when Satan tried to take over the kingdom of God and him and the angels were cast down to the earth. So that's probably who it was that was doing it. Not the angels of God per, per se or the sons of God that stuck with the Lord, but the ones that left his presence with the enemy and they start to go in onto women. So all these things that you're doing, it's the perversion, it's demonic perversions, and it's the ideas that now, even though you're married and you're saved, you think it's normal to do certain things, certain positions, certain things that you do. You think it's normal, but it's a perversion. And you, because it's so, so ingrained in, in the society and in our minds, just the idea of just, uh, what do you call missionary seems like oh it's absolutely boring because there's so many other positions there's so many other ways there's so many other orifices and entrances on the body and there's so many other gadgets and things that we can bring into the bedroom to make this more exciting but my brothers and sisters it is a demonic entrance and that is why in marriages people are not satisfied and that is why in marriages women have to be trying to keep up with the demands of their husband or trying to keep up with the demands of their wives but i see it more the other way around because he has such a big sexual appetite and she has such a big sexual appetite he's doing everything he tries he's trying to 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 satisfy her and while there's nothing wrong with having a healthy dose of sexual desire it's more or less it's 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 something that cannot be satisfied and so the man is going out the house the woman is going outside the home and then they're trying to the, the man or the woman He's trying so hard to make themselves more attractive, but it's more the women that does that because more than likely what will happen with a man, see women, certain things will happen with a woman where she'll just be trying really hard to make that man love her or she goes out and start to cheat. But more than likely what happens with the men is that because of how a man's mind is, the thought of another man being with his wife can make that man snap off and kill you.
<laughs> you understand? So that's the area most likely in which the enemy will cause that man. He'll give him a lot of anger and he'll start to feel some type of way and he will use brute force to stop it. Okay. Very rarely would you find the man is going to try harder to satisfy the woman. It's not the normal, uh, <sighs> That's not the normal action that he will take, but I suppose that it can happen. But the Lord just wants me to talk to you all today that there is uh, the, the, the sex that you feel where you can't, you can't do without this man or this woman. That is demonic because now that's idolatry. What do you mean you can't live without him? What do you mean you can't live without her? Because now they are more important than in some cases their own lives. People is killing themselves because someone left them. They went to someone else. Because now this person becomes more, sits on the seat of your heart more than your God. How's demonic? You're willing to disobey God to be with this man or this woman. You're willing to disobey God and give your body. You're willing to defile the temple of the living God for this person. Because the sex is so good and you can't stop. It's a demonic, it's a demonic union. When you've had sex with a person and it seems like that person knows every single bit of what it takes to turn you on and this is not your husband, this is not your wife, it's simply a demon that knows what you need that is operating through that man or woman's body to give you the best sex ever to keep you and separate you from God because sex is a form of worship. It's a gift. It's something that God has given for the man and the woman to enjoy together. So when you do these things, don't realize that you are on the altar of Baal performing these things. And guess what? There are spirits that's entering the both of you. That is why sometimes you find yourself having these emotions and thoughts and mindsets that you never had before and attitudes because you open up yourself to other demonic spirits. There's also an exchange because if that man or woman is sleeping around with other people, you're exchanging the spirits of that individual. That means you're not that you are that person, but you're going to pick up some of their habits and dispositions. All right. But the Lord just wanted me to share today. It's all it's demonic. Anything that causes you to walk out of your home to, to go against your wife. But most importantly, to go against the Lord. It's demonic. It's a demonic conversation. Those, those sexting and texting and conversations that is any conversation that you're having that you wouldn't want your spouse to know about is a wrong conversation. Any conversation that you're having that you have to delete and keep it a secret from someone that you're with, it is demonic. A lot of people don't want to use that word demon, but that's the truth, my brothers and sisters. It's nothing that you're doing on your own. These are the spirits that Jesus cast out of the little boy who had epilepsy and was throwing himself into the fire and was he had violent mis, uh, a violent disposition he had to cast out a spirit the men that were in the graveyard cutting themselves everyone was afraid he had to cast out those spirits we'll also talk about the jezebel spirit you hear about that in the bible you hear the story of the person jezebel that was a person that's dead and gone but there is a spirit that has it is called jezebel that is a very sexual deceiving spirit and the spirit is aimed on learning what your sexual needs are, learning what your, your emotional needs are and keeping you tied up in such a way, bringing someone in your life that rationalizes and says why you don't need to follow the principles of God as far as marriage, as far as waiting for marriage. And so it introduces you to mind blown sex because mind blown sex leads you to disobey the Lord. Those feelings and those emotions making that covenant in spirit makes it hard for you to obey the Lord. The reason why you cannot obey the Lord is because you're in a covenant with a demonic spirit. Anything that keeps you from God is anti-Christ. So you're in covenant with an anti-Christ demonic spirit that's causing you to, you, you can't think straight. You know what the word says, but the word can no longer permeate and change you because you're in covenant over here in darkness in a demonic tie so I'm trying to tell you throw it out your head that because this man or woman can give you mind-blowing sex that this means that this is a man or woman of God and this is a man for you 
there's sex that you people's had that caused you to go bust out windows, to go sneak in, to follow somebody with a hoodie on, to fight somebody you didn't know, to be getting into all types of mischief and things like that, to be sneaking out your house trying to plan a weekend lying. This is a demonic spirit. It's a demonic. The whole encounter is demonic, my brothers and sisters. And the whole goal of this person, sometimes I, I can't say that person knows I'm being moved by a demon. No, the, the devil causes you to have an illusion, an illusion that this is my thought, this is my decision, this is what I want. But you will find at the base of it all is disobedience, failure to obey the Lord, perversions, and just gratification of the flesh. So take the take this thing off your head that I can't leave this person or I'm in love with this person because, oh, they're so wonderful. What has happened is there's been a demonic covenant made when you decided to have sex outside of marriage, when you decide to have sex outside of your marriage, when you decide to have any type of perverted sex that does not line up with the word of God. And so it blinds you and it brings you into a place of captivity where now you're going to rationalize everything else. You're going to feel like you can't let go of this person. You're going to feel like you need, you can't live without them. So you need to leave your husband, your wife. You're going to be given a prophetic word that your wife is, or your husband is not for you. And this person is for you. You're going to be walking in this, walking up in church, doing whatever you want to do. This spirit is nasty and filthy. The, this, this, this spirit will let you feel like you can have God and, and illicit sex at the same time. This spirit will help you to find scripture to validate the sex that you're having outside of the will of God. This spirit will blind you and blind you and blind you. This spirit will cause you to go against God and be mad at God for his rules and his principles. The word of the Lord today is you need to repent. Seek his face. Get on your knees before your God and ask him to help you to be set free and be proactive in closing those doors because many people, many people have been taken down from the pulpits. Many people have been taken right out of their marriages. Many people has, the scandal has opened up on them. And you know what, even in some cases where the scandal has opened, they didn't, the, the hardness of their heart was of such, they kept going. But God is saying, these are the last days that quick repercussions are coming. The devastating repercussions are coming. The Lord wants you to turn away from your wicked ways while you have a chance. This is the word of the Lord today, my brothers and sisters. Be blessed.